Hey guys, it's Creepy Freak. I'm back with, uh, with another video. It's my second video of the day because I want to make up for the two weeks that I didn't upload. And today, I'm going to be pretty much telling you the game types that we play at my house for, for like future videos so you kind of know what's going on already. I don't have to explain it every video. I just put the title and you guys know exactly what it is. So this video is going to be a little bit longer than my other ones. But it's for good reasons to save time on my Nerf War videos that I might be putting up in the future when we have like parties and stuff like that with all my friends over and or I could schedule something. Also, if you guys want to play this at your house, I'm going to be explaining the rules and like how we do it just so you guys can play it at your house with like your friends or someone and just kind of with whoever, whoever you guys want to play with, play with. I'm not telling you can and cannot use my ideas to do what you want. So, with that out of the way, first one we like to play, I like to call Alien. It's a lot like humans versus zombies, but it lasts about 10 to 15 and maybe 20 minutes per round. It's very fast. Plus, I don't have the biggest house in the world. It's a me it's a large house, but it's not like a mansion. It's not like it takes me 10 minutes to walk from one side to the other or something. It, we have a big yard, but we don't play outside because we usually play at night, so it's hard to find darts at night. Um, so it's best to play at night. Just said that. We decide who the alien is using blue shoe or drawing cards or rolling dice. Whoever you guys want to decide, decide away. But the alien goes into a, one corner of the house. It doesn't matter its corner. Just pick one, pick like a room in the corner of the house, far away from everybody else. So, the humans have pistols, but their primary weapons, or the, we the blasters that they choose to use for that round are scattered around the house with like darts and clips, some are loaded, some aren't, just kind of scattered around. But then once the humans say go, the zo the, sorry, well, I almost called it the zombie, the alien starts counting to uh, 20. After that, the humans get all the supplies they need, go where they want, hide, or fight, out whatever your strategy is, but the goal of the alien is to turn everyone into an alien. It's a lot like humans versus zombies in that way. Oh, that's about it. Other than that, I kind of took my own twist on it. But um, it takes two shots to kill the alien. It's not like HVZ where they have to survive a certain amount of time for them to win. It's kill the alien. Two shots. But if the alien tags you or touches you with like their foot or their head or their arm or whatever if they touch you in any way then you're an alien in 10 seconds it's between 10 and 5 seconds I prefer the 10 seconds but that's pretty much how that game works the second one um, I'll, is my friend's version of humans versus zombies it's pretty much zombie apocalypse we take every single blaster that I own, or you own, or if you don't have that many, you start off with those blasters you got, but I have a lot. So, we scatter them around the house. All of my darts are everywhere in magazines. We take all my mags, even my crummy 35-round drum Raider mag that doesn't work whatsoever, load it up, throw them around the house, and... The catch is, after each round, you're not allowed to reload. Like, if the zombie wins, then the first person who's tagged is the next zombie. That's how most of these tag games play at my house. First person tagged is the next one to be it. So, all you have to do is decide the, the first alien slash zombie, and then the rest kind of does it on its own. Which I like. It saves more time, and we can play more and have more fun. But with that little uh, got off track, that yeah, losing my words here. 
Um, we uh, we're not allowed to reload after each round. Like, say the zombie wins, and I'm the next zombie. My friends can't reload their weapons. So you run out of ammo quick. The only time you can reload is during a game, which is really, really weird, but I don't criticize them on that. Um, the third one I like to play is close quarters combat uh, on my porch. I don't, we don't really have a game for it. It's just let's go play on the – let's go have a Nerf War on the back porch. All we say, we get boxes, cardboard boxes, plastic boxes, Plastic boxes, recycling bins. If they're empty, we don't play with recycling them. That's gross. Because I don't want ants and crap all over the back porch. This is my house, by the way. This is my parents' house. Um, I'm only in high school. But, because I don't think they want ants on the back porch anyways. It's, I mean, yeah. So we get empty recycling bins with nothing in them. Tip them upside down, like stack them on top of each other. So they're, they get pretty high up. Plastic boxes, cardboard boxes, anywhere, chairs, like plastic chairs, uh, lawn chairs, anything like that. Make like a maze and crap out of them. And then we can just play. We've only got three lives and that's it. Close quarters combat. I usually use, pro tip, don't use a long shot, a long strike, anything the long strike, a barrel. Rate, like something with a retaliator barrel, maybe. That could pass. It's very tight, like SMG, like Strife, Raven, something small, compact, Hammer Shot, Strong Arm, Flip Fury, anything pistol or submachine, submachine gun, because anything can be technically be a submachine gun except for like a Long Strike, Long Shot, Titan, anything like that, they, those aren't SMGs. But pretty much any pistol type or anything small work great. And sometimes you put flags at each end. Anything colored, like shirts, like two different colored shirts at the end and play capture the flag. Another game, fourth game. I'm keeping this numbered. Um, capture the flag. Two ends of my house. We put one flag on the back porch and one on the front, which I'm pointing to the directions which they are back front in that order. It doesn't have to be in that order though, but this is the back porch, this is the front porch. Just kind of on my house, the front porch that way. But and we pretty much just play capture the flag. Every time you get shot, you have to go back to the flag, wait 10 seconds, and run right back in. Use anything you want except for a sniper rifle. If you're playing indoors, if you're playing outdoors, use whatever you want. And we don't use swords inside the house because I like to throw swords. But that can hit the TV, not TV down. My parents aren't going to be too happy about that. I could hit something, break something, whatever. So I don't throw swords inside my house. I mean, sure, I use swords to, like, tag people, but not, like, to throw them. An alien can also have a sword if they want. Yeah, if you guys have, like, a Nerf sword, you guys can do that, too. Take, this is, like, a guide, I guess. But also kind of letting you know what we play. So I don't have to explain it, like I've already mentioned. But, um... Trying to think of any more we, we usually play on like a normal basis. We usually just get blasters and just do whatever we want inside my house if no one's home. Um, I like personally doing like a zombie apocalypse feel, but like not humans versus zombies, but like humans versus humans versus zombies. Like we can make alliances, kill other humans. I like, um, also like playing like Mad Max style, not like. Kind of like that, but like trade for supplies and stuff. That's also very fun for me. I like trading and doing favors for people to get things to do other things with, like stocks and mags. Like my cousin, like Justin Grassi, he was on the cruise in the hide and seek video. I like to trade him like darts or like a stock for like a magazine. Like just kind of trade between each other. But then also fight each other at the same time. It's very fun. I, you guys should try that. I got thirsty there. Throat's getting dry. I'm talking too much. But also, I forgot to note in the zombies video, or not the zombies video, blah, 
in the zombies game, we get every blaster except for this, and we didn't use the blood mist because that wasn't made yet. But I don't use the only I'm allowed to use the blood mist or my cousin because I don't trust my other friends. They're more airsoft people, so they they like airsoft better. They're used to like throwing their their I guess they're called guns, airsoft guns. Like around and just doing whatever, like throwing them against the walls and crap and not breaking. We're not really used to handling painted like enamels and stuff on blasters. <clears throat> so, it leads me to the next point. I also like playing very tactically when we play the indoor close quarters combat porch on the porch or like inside my house because we have like a big living room like corridors so you can like hide and like peek around corners and shoot everybody i like flashlights for nighttime off for nighttime stuff like one time we played aliens i had a flashlight in the bottom of my, Ma of my magnus that's all i use with my magnus and that's pretty much it and it was like shining it in the face of this of the alien it was really annoying him, it was funny. And another one, another one I like to play is very similar, but it's Predator. You can play this any time of day. Night works best, as always. But <clears throat> pretty much the Predator starts off with the sword, and then the human has to protect his weapons. The Predator's weapons are anything like I use I like doing the strong arm because it, it's like the pistol. Or whatever they got. You can also use a raven for like a little assault rifle they got. But I mean, so it's got a sword and a gun. You gotta worry about that a lot. And it's a lot like Alien, but not really. It's also fun to do Aliens versus Predator. It's pretty much the same concept with both of those combined. Except that the Aliens can't die. They just come back. So it's just survival. So I like humans versus zombies, but the different name, and the aliens get swords and stuff, and like triads, something small, like a double down triad jolt, maybe night finder, or a fire strike, something very small, compact, can't really do much with. But um, that's about it for this video. Um, I hope that I can um, uh, make these videos with my GoPro. If you guys would like that, drop it in the uh, comments. If you guys would like to see these Nerf War videos come to life and see how I play them with my friends. But otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.